What's up guys, it's Craig Mitch here for Spurred On and today we are going to do Spurred On's top five strangest jobs in football. Now, this week a weird job came out from one of our Spurs legends and uh, I'm not going to touch on it too much, we'll get into it, but that has prompted us to put together this top five list. So we're going to start off with number five. Okay, so in at number five is the Spurs director of football. Now this has got to be one of the toughest jobs in the world. I mean, look, think about it. If you sign a great player, you don't get any credit for it. Everyone gives it to the manager. If you sign a bad player, everyone is on your back and no one even looks at the manager. And a great example of it is AVB and Baldini. Okay, so when we got all of that money for Gareth Bale, apparently Baldini went and spent it on all of these players and AVB kind of threw him under the bus when all the results weren't going well. Now to this day, it's a bit of a coy conspiracy theory. We don't know who actually spent the money and who didn't. I don't think we'll ever know. But all, one thing we do know is that being a Spurs director of football is absolutely tough and it's pretty strange. Okay, so in at number four is Chelsea's doctor slash physio. Now we all know what happened with Eva Canero. Jose Mourinho completely flipped his lid and dropped her because she ran on the field apparently without his consent to see to Eden Hazard. Now as far as I know, that's what doctors do, Jose Mourinho. If the referee calls them on the field to help an injured player, they go on the field. So stop putting all the dirty laundry in the streets, stop treating it like flipping EastEnders and just let her do her job. Clearly, if you're going to be a doctor for Chelsea, you're not supposed to do your job. You're supposed to just sit there, if someone gets injured, I don't know, drink a 7-Up and act like nothing happened. So number four in the list is being a Chelsea doctor slash physio. Now time for number three. And number three is being a family member of Emmanuel Adebayor. Now this has got to be one of the weirdest things in the world. Now. We know it's not actually a job. Being a family member, someone's next of kin, is not an occupation. But when it's Emmanuel Adebayor, it certainly is a task. Now, everyone knows that he goes on Facebook and completely outs his family members. He says that they steal from him, allegedly, and that they take cars and don't invite him to funerals. I mean, just being his brother is absolutely hard. Just being related to the guy. Imagine even being just friends with him as well. Everything surrounded with this man is negative. So if I'm his brother, I'm staying well away from him. Okay, so the second strangest job in football is Mario Balotelli's gopher. Now, if you don't know this, Desmond Enze used to be a footballer for Inter Milan. Guess what? He dropped that out. He didn't want to be a professional anymore. All he wanted to do was live the high life with Mario Balotelli. Now, apparently, Balotelli's got him on some super payroll to be at his beck and call. He was even spotted in Mario Balotelli's car while Balotelli was training for Liverpool. How much has he got this guy on to be sleeping in his car while he's training? It is a bit weird. I mean, I don't know. I'm, I'm reckoning the ballpark of maybe 500,000 a year. It's got to be a lot of money. And finally, and the whole purpose of us making this top five list is Jermaine Defoe's PA. This has got to be the strangest job in football. And not just because he's, you know, it's a PA. Every footballer has a PA. But it's the task he wants this PA to do. He wants them to arrange birthday parties for his family members and he's listed the family members. He wants them to make iPhone apps. He wants them to stock his fridge. I'm sure you can do that, Defoe. I'm pretty sure your fridge is huge. It's probably taller than you because you're about five foot. But I'm pretty sure you can reach the top shelf. Just get a yellow pages. You don't need a PA to do that. He also, he also wants them to grow his plants. What? Grow your plants. This has got to be the strangest advertising for a job in football history. It's made all of the newspapers and what's even weirder about it is he wants this whole thing to grow his global brand, whatever that means. Anyway guys, this has been the top five strangest jobs in football. Let us know in the comments below any strange jobs you know about in football that we may have missed. I don't know, we don't know all of them. This is the whole point of us doing this show. Follow us on Twitter, at Spurred on TV and make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hi guys, it's Barnaby for Spurred On. Time for another 60 second Spurs, let's do it. Okay, it's a transfer special because it looks like Berahino might be on his way. 